Hi everybody, Josiah here, also known as Chilling Silence, and I've got some really great news to share with you today. So in addition to the Digibyte Go wallet, uh, I'm also going to be showing you a new Digi Assets website that I've been working on, which I've kind of hinted at a little bit in the past. So what I want to do is show you how easy it is to get started and sign in. So what I'll do is I'll take my cell phone here, and I'm going to bring up the app, and I'm just going to scan the QR code, and it's going to prompt me to log in. Nice and easy. Cool. So what I need to do next is I need to deposit and uh, basically enable creation. So this is going to cost me 500 Digibyte. This is a an amount that is uh, in this particular website's instance going uh, back to me to help pay for the server costs uh, as well as the development of the website and, and similar sorts of things. Um, so anybody who's been following along uh, will remember that I've mentioned I've, I've taken out a small bank loan basically to get this off the ground, get it started. Now there are going to be additional features and things coming real soon, so that's totally cool. Um, what I'll do now is I'm going to scan this. And what I'll do is I'll pop in here, uh, 500, automatically populated at 500 Digibyte, fantastic. Oh yeah, fingerprint recognized. Confirmation sent, brilliant. So what I'll do is I'll talk a little bit about this. Basically, there are going to be additional things such as the ability to import a, a spreadsheet with a list of uh, Digibyte addresses and a number of assets that you want to send through to each one. So say, for example, you were issuing shares in your company. What you could do is you could send uh, 50 to one person, uh, 20 to another, 10 to another, 10 to another, for example, and then keep some for yourself, obviously. And what you'll do is you'll just have a nice list of them in the website and it will automatically send those out for you. Um, so what I'll do now is it's taken uh, a couple of seconds. I'll click on refresh here just to make sure that it's received it. Looks like it's still going through. Let me copy this. Actually, I can even just open it up straight here. Yeah, it's received. There we go. Okay, so you've deposited enough to create your Digi asset. Fantastic. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get started, show you the creation process. Uh, what I'll do before I actually go ahead with that is I'll go over here to Digibyte Go and I'm going to create a new uh, wallet for this to be used. So I'll create a new personal wallet and I'm going to call this my first Digi asset. I'm going to click on create new wallet. And let's grab a receiving address from here as well. So let me change this to my first Digi Asset. Cool. So on the website, I'm going to click on Create Digi Asset. This is going to give me the basic forms that I need to fill in in order to create my own Digi Asset. So what I'll do is I'll paste this address in here. Now, the reason that I'm doing this is otherwise what will happen is it will issue it to the Digi Asset website that I've been working on. The idea being that you can send them out later on, you don't have to send them all through to your mobile. So what we need now is we need to uh, give it a name and we're going to, how about we call this, I'm going to make this a locked asset. Now the difference is between a locked versus reissuable. A locked asset can never be recreated or uh, adjusted or the supply increased or anything along those lines. Whereas a reissuable asset allows you to come in and tweak certain things later on or increase the maximum supply. Say for example, you want to increase your company shares from 1000 to 10,000. You can do that if it is reissuable, not otherwise. Uh, let's give it a little bit of a description and we'll say, um, How many do we want to do? I'll do a hundred of these. Now what I'm going to need to do is go and I'll find an image. We'll call this, we'll go. And let's grab this image. So what I need to do here is I'm going to copy the image address, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-upload it somewhere else for now to Imager. Now the reason that I'm doing this is because I want to have Imager keep this picture for me. There we go. I want them to keep it for me. I want them to host it and they'll do that basically for forever. Uh, if I grab any random uh, image off the internet, it might not be around forever. So it pays to have it somewhere like this, for example. 
Um, now, the, the thing is here is I can't copy the, the address for this just yet. What I need to do is I need to open it in a new tab and then grab the actual image address itself. If you try and paste a non-GIF, non-PNG, or a non-JPEG link, uh, the website will actually reject that. So I'll paste this in here, and that's pretty much it. We're ready to go. Now, the quantity format, uh, at the moment, we've got this locked to decimal, which basically means you can't do divisible assets. With Digibyte, for example, you can divide your Digibyte up to eight decimal places. Uh, you'll eventually be able to do this here as well, but for the time being, it's simply locked to whole individual assets. So I'll click on Create. And that's pretty much it. Um, now, Digibyte Go, the reason that I have this up and open is because if I click on the home button here, this is the new Digibyte Go wallet, which is being revamped, being refreshed, and it's going to have Digi Asset support. So this is super cool that we've got this coming to uh, the public very shortly. We've actually begun to do a bit of a rollout now, so you can get excited about it. Uh, a couple of people will start to receive this in replacement for their existing one. So that's really cool to see. Again, as always, make sure that you have your recovery phrase backed up. Now, we can see here your asset has been successfully created with this address. Now, this is the unique identifier for your Digi asset. This is what separates it from all the other Digi assets. This is how you know that it can never be uh, cloned or anything or uh, with this particular one. Because it starts with an L, that's how we know that it is a locked asset. So, uh, we can see here under my first Digi asset, we've already received 0 .006, 0 0.000006 of a Digibyte. And if I click on View Assets, it's going to show me it here as well. Now, for the time being, there is an issue with displaying this animated picture inside of the Digibyte Go wallet, something that the team are still looking at. But what we can do is if I go back here to Digi Explorer, what we should see is if I refresh this, the latest transaction should be an issuance up here. Cool. Um, so if I click on my transaction ID, we can see here that this is me issuing the Digi asset. We can see the output contains the following Digi assets. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and see it. Now we can see up here it's animating correctly. Uh, we've got the name of it. We've got the description of it. Uh, we also have the unique identifier here, who issued it, how many there are and all of the likes. So that's super cool. Super easy to get issuing Digi Assets with this website. And so what I'll do is I will leave a link in the description below. And if you want to try it out, you can go and do that. Uh, as mentioned, this uh, currently costs 500 Digibyte for you to go ahead and actually do it. Uh, in the future, that may go up, may go down, depending on a bunch of things. Um, but it's just something there to hopefully start to recoup a little bit of some of the, the costs for getting this set up and running. Uh, now, also for the Digibyte Go, you can see here we also have the ability to issue new assets. It's coming to the Digibyte Go wallet as well. So again, something for you to get excited about. Uh, this will work both on uh, Chrome, it will work on Chrome OS, and we're even looking at ways that we can bring it to the desktop, mobile potentially as well. So stay tuned for that. But for now, this is really good because it means that you can use it on Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and the likes. So it's not going to just be the Android users that are able to use Digi Assets. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll click back here. Again, you can see this is the received, and that is how much of a Digibyte is kept tied up with this particular Digi Asset. So every time you send out Digi Assets, if I were to send all of the 100 to 100 different people, each of those 100 people would need 0 0.000006 of a Digibyte tied up at the time. Now the reason for this is this is how the UTXO uh, basically keeps the Digi asset data and, and knows that it is associated with your wallet. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've learned a thing or two. I hope you're excited as I am about getting out and issuing some Digi assets. Uh, I do apologize for my kind of croaky voice this morning, coming down with a bit of a cold, I think, at the end of winter here, so wish me luck for tomorrow. Um, <laughs> if you have enjoyed this, please feel free to give this a like, give it a subscribe. Uh, if you do have any questions, you can sing out in the comment section below. You can tweet me, I'm at DGB underscore chilling, or otherwise, I'll talk to you in the next video. We'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.